Um, I don't know if we have any expectations. Uh, we expect the Falls to play awesome. Now, they're an incredible band, um, super great guys. They were one of the first bands that we ever befriended when we moved to England a couple years back. Um, uh, we lived in England for two years and met them and did, they were one of the first tours that we ever did. And uh, so I don't know, I just expect it to be a really fun tour. It's the first uh, headline tour we've done in the States in a long time. And then we're kind of like swapping tours. So they're gonna headline in the UK and Europe and we're gonna support them. So nice little trade off. <laughs> um, absolutely have hurt myself. Um, I've like, uh, I jumped off of a speaker stack um, in Chicago at the Vic and it was like, I think it was at the second balcony level and I hurt my ribs. I was, we had a show in London where I jumped from a, a balcony and I separated my rib cage from my sternum, I've gotten stitches, I broke my fourth metatarsal in my foot one time. I mean, uh, that's like just a couple times, you know, out of the many that have gone good, so. It's just trying not to hurt other people is really what you steer away from. We actually just shot the music video yesterday for it, which is Take It or Leave It. Yeah, the video's, um, I came up with the idea after I saw the movie American Hustle. I just really like the aesthetic, that kind of like 70s disco, macho kind of thing, and so, um, it's, the video is kind of like uh, Saturday Night Fever meets Skate Town USA, Patrick Swayze's first movie. So we're like the backing band of this like roller skating disco competition. Um, and the skaters that we got were amazing. Everything looked really authentic. On this record in particular, instead of, in the past, you know, um, you come up with a melody or, or whatever, and it might lean into a certain person that, uh, that you look up to in music or whatever. But on this record, it wasn't so much what I'd heard, but um, it was more about like just creating characters within the song. So I mean, like I might hear a song and like imagine some gaunt wizard, you know, or whatever, you know, and try to embody that character as I delivered it. But with this song, I just, I just got this feeling of like this morbid relationship and it was kind of inspired by Screaming Jay Hawkins, I put a spell on you, but I wanted this to be where both parties within the relationship were uh, grossly obsessed with each other. So it wasn't just one person, you know, it was like they were like intertwined in this sick love story. And uh, um, Allison was at the top of our, our short list of people that we wanted to reach out, out to and she responded. Um, uh, much to our surprise quickly and loved the track and she came in and she was she was actually worried because she just got over strep throat and uh, I think it took like two takes or something like that something unreal yeah we're playing Coachella this year and um, absolutely I mean it's Coachella it's it's uh, I think that you know there's there's the legendary names in the festival world that stand out and Coachella is definitely one of them it's one of the things that really has been a launching pad for our career because I love the challenge of this massive crowd that has no clue who you are and there's the challenge of winning winning those people over I, even if we play you know if it's if it's a teeny little club or it's you know a festival crowd I always want to create that experience that keeps people talking even when they leave the show and uh, at a festival there's even more of that, that drive to do that, so.